let us look at proposition number 11 of book 11 of euclid's elements the proposition says to draw a straight line perpendicular to a given plane from a given elevated point so we have to draw a perpendicular line from a to this plane let's call this plane as plane of reference what we do is we take a random line so let's say b is a point and from that p we draw a line and mark it as c so we have a line bc which is picked at random on this plane of reference now we draw a line perpendicular to bc from a but how do we do that so we have to do that in the plane in which all the three points are there so let's draw a plane which passes through a b and c and now it is pretty straightforward right book one proposition we draw a circle intersect the points circle circle intersect intersect and join these points and take the intersection with bc so now we have ad perpendicular to bc so let's hide off all these elements which are no more relevant for us so let's mark that angle as right angle it might happen that the randomly picked line bc on which we have drawn a perpendicular line ad makes ad also perpendicular to the plane of reference so if it is perpendicular to the plane we have done our job but if it is not then we have to proceed further so now what we have to do is draw a line perpendicular to bc on the plane of reference itself we draw a circle again same proposition we apply again intersect intersect circle circle intersect intersect draw a line from d to the point of intersection so we have this line which is perpendicular to bc on the plane of reference itself and let's mark a random point on this line so that we can refer to it so de is perpendicular to bc now we draw a line perpendicular from a to de so again we have to do it in that plane in which all the three points are there or ad and de are so let's draw that plane first and now we start off again intersect intersect circle circle intersect intersect line and then we take the point of intersection of this line with de so let's hide off all the other elements now let's join a and f now what we do is through f we draw a line which is parallel to bc so let's draw the line which is parallel to bc let's take two points on that g and h to refer and let's join these two points so now the angle efg is right angle why because it is parallel to bc gh is parallel to bc and edb and efg are corresponding angles so they are equal so that means efg is also a right angle gh will be perpendicular to all the straight lines which meet it and are in the plane through ad and de the ad and de plane is this and 
which are the lines which are meeting GH and are in this plane that is EB and AF. So that means GH is perpendicular to DE and AF. So that means AF is perpendicular to GH and DE. That means AF is perpendicular to the plane through GH and DE. What is that plane which is passing through uh, GH and DE? That is our plane of reference. So that is how we draw a line perpendicular to given plane from a given point which is elevated from the plane. So that was proposition number 11 of book 11 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. 